now I need to put the light source so now a little bit skills about the lighting how to create the light on the scene uh, gonna go create and then lights click on it and select standard and MR area omni because we're using the mental ray render remember when we set the render render right here mental ray that's why we need the MR omni lights we're going to perfectly program with mental ray click somewhere bring that light and click F9 let's check it out here we go we just that texture the chrome uh, chrome uh, lookish copper lookish texture received the light and uh, you can place the light the way you want it like rotate it place closer to a, an object and let's say right here this is our PCB this is our light and um, go to modify on the light when light selected this little thing guy is light and um, call it light so you're gonna know okay and just place it maybe like so let's see uh, change the position okay I just place it on the side let's place it over here and it's gonna bring more light okay I think it's from the other side maybe I'm wrong make sure you have enough light it's probably too close let's move it and let's see where our light is it's on top so we gotta bring it to the bottom make sure you working with all your viewports you know exactly where your light located let's bring it to the uh, level of the memory so it's going to bring so much light to it not from the top but from the distance okay as you can see just those T's they highlighted and yeah from the side we have a perfect memory okay kind of realistic we can use it you can sub, uh, subdivide more uh, polygons on the bottom and create more T's extend more T's the way you want it you know if you need so you need to be if you need to be so precise you can make this cube so precise by meters centimeters millimeters there's an option right there scale it the way you want it but that that's will do this is perfect so we just learned how to in 3d max studio and this 3d object and you can rotate you can zoom in and the uh, basic tutorial uh, unfortunately our pcb um texture suck but you know what we can do you can find some better or take a shot with your camera all right and we learned just how to texture it and uh, we learn how to bring the light the next thing let me go ahead and save it uh, always save your project because 3d max are crashing a lot and please also keep in mind as again this video tutorial will be split into multiple parts so please watch them all please um, rate my hard work it's going to be an hour or two hours or so and why so long because I'm dedicated every single piece for the beginners out there so they will learn a lot and feel more comfortable with my tutorials as again my name is Alexander Moroz and I'm your instructor that uh, doing this tutorial for Moroz Academy all right so we're fine all right the next thing what we're gonna learn how to create that nice cover that going to on our memory this guy right here protecting so it's look like a high performance memory so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select my uh, PCB okay I'm gonna go on icon display right here that monitor icon click on it and uh, scroll down find height selected I'm gonna click on it and it's going to uh, height uh, my PCB so it's not visible anymore if you're gonna render it's not here so it's not taking that resources of your CPU everything is working fast now I'm gonna go ahead and create that cover and memory I'm gonna go back to create geometry box 
and um, we're just going to go with the box here we go about the same box so and uh, that fine uh, let me go ahead and plant how many um, segments and then future polygons because we can consider this uh, every square as a polygon even if it's not yet make sure you're going to modify now on the second icon and um, see how many polygons we're going to consider those segments as a polygon see how many segments we need um, we need one two three on this side one two three and then on this side one two three four five one two three we're fine in here and over here we need one two three four five we're fine and two in here so we're perfect okay so what I'm gonna, gonna go on the box right click button and I'm gonna say edit poly or you can click right click button on the model on 3d model and click convert to editable poly it's gonna bring to editable poly which you are familiar by watching this tutorial already so we can work with vertices polygons and basically extend and make a complex 3d model extend the shape so um, first thing what I'm gonna do I'm going to switch uh, to vertices so guys over here let me go ahead and bring the camera to my model the best way to do so is by clicking on zoom extend select and it's going to this icon right here and it's going to bring um, the bottom one it's going to bring our model in our viewport without us to zoom and zoom out very quick and neatly then I'm going to select the vertex and I'm going to select those vertices right here in the middle and I'm going to go to uniform scale tool and I'm going to scale them um, like so so I'm fine now the next thing what I'm gonna do I'm going to um, select on each side right here um, those and those lines of vertices and I'm going to scale them about so by one axis as again by X okay and then we're just going to extrude some polygons to make this shape but before I'm gonna select those As you can see we pre-planned very nice and I'm gonna put them together by one X axis like so and now, as you can see, if I'm going to select the polygons right here, we're going to extend this option and select the polygon, same thing. I'm going to select those two polygons. And I'm going to extrude them inside. So, um, scroll down. But make sure, just do not select just those two polygons. Because if you will... the other side is not selected you can select the other side like so or go ahead and click select object and click left mouse of your button and roll it release it and then alt um, holding alt button on your keyboard deselect this guy right here so we're perfect we selected as you can see both sides and we need to work with both sides except this one we're gonna select this holding control I'm gonna add control button on my keyboard alright always make sure that you didn't do any mistakes that you're working the way you want it okay what I'm gonna do now now I'm going to extrude but as you can see it's extruded the way we don't want it we want to inside not outside so I'm gonna say minus 10 and click enter alright so it's extruded the way we want it perfect
that's the way we want it right and uh, then what I'm gonna do next next I'm gonna click OK I'm going to select um, the polygons on the side those polygons right here those polygons and I'm gonna click in set and um, maybe I'm gonna say in set by 5 click enter and um, okay so make sure they're inserted from both sides like so the next thing what I'm gonna do and the bottom as well but not the top the next thing what I'm gonna do I'm gonna click the delete button on my keyboard so I'm gonna delete those polygons from our model so it's went away we don't have it anymore like so alright nice so this is the cover the memory cover uh, I'm gonna go do next I'm gonna click on editable poly select the whole 3d model go click the select and uniform scale and I'm going to scale this cover a little bit the way to fit the memory and stuff like so so I need to go ahead and bring my memory now so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, on height I'm gonna click on that monitor display icon click on it and find I hide all I'm gonna click on it and it's gonna bring me the memory now um, I can go ahead and scale it down in that middle a uh, triangle which is gonna scale down every single uh, axis up to where I'm gonna be comfortable up to the size of the memory and using my viewports I'm going to try to bring it and position it as you can see I'm working with all my viewports at the same time needs to have them and using then select uniform tool again I'm going to maybe scale it by X then scale it by Y and then maybe scale it by Z by X over here in front so it's gonna bring that things on the side let me show it to you in perspective like they have on their picture like so okay maybe a little bit more that's like so and let's click F9 and see what we have alright and uh, yeah we have a nice cover we have ourselves a nice cover nice and uh, as you can see it's saying box 2 instead of box 2 I'm gonna say memory heat sink so it's gonna heat sink take away the heat from the memory that's the way it's designed as I know it as a um, hardware enthusiast alright so we got it we got the way we want it look almost the same we can it's look like a laptop memory what we can do we can select both objects like so like first you gotta select somewhere an empty space and then drag and move uh, your mouse hold it move it the square 